Hello, friends! Welcome to the stream! Hopefully everything is good. Let me know if the audio is okay. Let me know if the background music is okay. Let me know if it's too loud. Hello, hello. How are you on this fine Thursday? Is it Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. Um, Brendan, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Natalie, board gamer girl, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for, for coming and hanging out. I appreciate that. Uh, Brendan is one of the designers and Natalie is Open Owl Studios. Are you like a marketing person? What is your exact job, Natalie? I think it's like community manager, marketing manager, something like that. <laughs> Hello. George, welcome to the stream. George, I did get your text message. Just be patient with me. I'm really bad at getting back to text messages, but it's on the agenda for tonight, I promise you. <laughs> Carrie, thank you so much. I did eat safely. I did eat safely. I scarfed down some great mac and cheese. Some mac and cheese that I did not realize was gluten-free. The pasta was actually like a rice pasta. It was pretty good, not gonna lie. Nat, hello, welcome to the stream. I've been summoned. Hello, hello. Nat, I feel like this, this is a game that you would enjoy as well. Ryan is doing some working out. Good luck with your workout, Ryan. <laughs> receiving my copy of this, um, receiving my copy this week, uh, Myth would drop. Looking forward to see if it was worth the small upgrade. Happy gaming after mac and cheese, of course. <laughs> Brian, hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, yes, I am super excited to play this with you guys. I've been playing Mythwind um, for like the last three days pretty much every single night because I've been really really enjoying it it's just so chill like it's such a chill game and I have not experienced that before I feel like I'm always just worried that I'm not doing good in a game and I feel like that's not great when you're like going into board games being like oh I'm not gonna do good I'm not gonna be good at this game but in this, like, you don't really have to worry about being good at the game. Like, it's just an experience more than it is a game. And I love that. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys today. Is it the gourmet mac and cheese with toasted breadcrumbs on top and a ton of gooey melted cheese? It is not. <laughs> it is not, Ryan. It is some stovetop quick eat mac and cheese. Um, it is the type of mac and cheese that doesn't have the powdered cheese, though. I don't really love. The only powdered cheese macaroni that I enjoy is just original Kraft Dinner. But that has to be with ketchup. I will not eat my Kraft Dinner without ketchup. Um, but if I am to eat other types of mac and cheese, I prefer the one that actually has, like, the, the like, gooey sauce that you, like, squeeze into it. So... Um, there's like the Kraft uh, Deluxe Velveeta Mac and Cheese. I love that one. Uh, the one that I just had today was Annie's Deluxe Creamy Mac and Cheese. And it also had like the, the gooey cheese instead of the powdered cheese. Hello, Isaac. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Brian T. Good evening. Board to play. Joe, how are you? How's it going? It's almost 1.30 a.m. here in Poland. Just gonna say hi, oh my goodness, hello. Uh, Wojo, thank you so much for, for popping in and saying hello, I appreciate it. Uh, is it high protein mac and cheese for the gains? Pfft, no. Yo girl does not have any gains. No gains. I should though, I should. Also had to rush doing dinner tonight. Um, was a family dinner night, so went to make a whole bunch of uh, latkes. I believe is that's that's how that's pronounced. 
Are they like the like potato pancakes? Is that what you were making, Natalie? I saw it on your uh, your story. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the stream. How are you? How's it going? And Caesar salad and smoked salmon. Ooh, smoked salmon. Delicious. Hello, Vortac. Vortac, thank you so much for signing up to be a seedling. Um, I really appreciate that. If you guys do not know, I finally got my YouTube memberships going. So pretty much uh, you can pay whatever you want from month to month in order to just get some extra content. Um, it's pretty much just going to be working the same as my Patreon, but if you would prefer to do it on YouTube, you're welcome to do that. Also with YouTube, it will give you like a little, uh, when you're like talking in chat here, if you sign up on YouTube, it'll give you a little uh, thing beside your name that says what you are. So it has all the different tiers. Um, just like my Patreon, there's seedling, bud, sprout, and flower. All of them are a different um, price amount, but everyone gets the same thing. Uh, additional videos and um, I do like a weekly schedule every Monday. Um, I also do, I'm going to try to start doing more like early access to videos, um, stuff like that. Oh my goodness, I'm so far behind. It's always Thursday somewhere. It is. It's always Thursday somewhere. Hello, Katie. Welcome to the stream. Brendan is okay. <laughs> Call Flamecraft. I am not calling Flamecraft. Oh no. It's gonna be this whole thing again, isn't it? <laughs> I know nothing of this myth wind. Well, I'm excited to show you, Nat. I think you would enjoy it. Call Alex folds arms and smiles. <laughs> Hello from Thailand. Oh my goodness. Hello. Isaac, thank you so much for joining from all the way over there. My copy of Fractured Sky arrives tomorrow. Can't wait. Ooh, that's awesome. I need to figure out Fractured Sky has a solo mode, doesn't it? I need to play Fractured Sky solo. I feel like that would be a fun one to play. Brian. Brian, thank you so much. Brian gifted 10 board game garden memberships. Woo, 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 woo. So Pariah got one. Paria. Ryan got one. Tommy. Jennifer. Zeem. Aaron. Sarah. The unemployed lawyer. Wow. Oh, wait. No, no, no. The unemployed lawyer did not get one. He just said, I have a wrench. I need no gift. <laughs> Paul, Omar, Dave, and Louisa. Brian, you are a wonderful human. Thank you so much for the support and gift in some memberships. That's so nice of you. We are happy to be seedlings here. Thank you so much, Vortac. I got Fractured Sky is the only game that you expect to arrive. Broken? Haha. <laughs> Good one, Beck. Good one. Sounds like someone is making the good kind for you and Francis. Although this weekend is uh, onigiri again, as my daughter wants it, and beef rolls. Oh, I love onigiris. We have this uh, ramen place pretty close to us that uh, I could literally like walk over during like lunchtime and just buy some onigiris for lunch. And for some reason, I've lived here for four or five years now and I have not done that once yet. Like I get the onigiri but I only do it like when we go there for dinner. I don't know why I just haven't walked over and grabbed some onigiri for for lunch. I feel like that'd be amazing. Aww. All right friends. So I think I'm caught up on chat. So who wants to get into this? So like I said, I have played this a few times already. I am going into the next season. I've already gone through spring and summer. So I believe we are now going into winter? No. <laughs> Jenna, there is fall before there is winter, you ding dong. 
my question is, where did I put the weather tiles? Good question, my dad. Where did I put the weather tiles? What the heck, ski heck? Oh yes, I also need buildings. Buildings need to come out. And I somehow need to find this missing weather tile. Please hold everyone while I try to find this weather tile and you can look at this beautiful game. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at how beautiful it is. Oh, found it. There we go. All right. So we are moving into, like I said, we're moving into fall. So this is the fall season tile here. And then on the back, we have winter as well. Depending on how long it takes me to get through a season, I'm either going to play through just fall or I'm gonna play through fall and winter. We will see, I will say I do have some stuff to do tonight to prepare for a, a thing called boat con that we're doing this weekend. Um, basically some of my friends and I are all getting together and we are doing boat con. I'm real pumped. We're pretty much just playing board games all weekend, <laughs> which I'm very excited about. Hello from Australia. I found your channel uh, a fortnight ago and I've been binge watching all of your videos. Kiara, thank you so much. That means the world. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my content. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Pretty much potato pancakes. Nice. Hello, Tim. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, did this ship? I can't wait for it to arrive. Most anticipated game for me right now. Rainwater Games, it, yeah, it should be arriving very soon. Um, I do think I was told that I might have gotten one of the first finished copies of this. So I feel very, very, uh, what is the word? i thankful, blessed. Uh, honored? That's probably the word I was looking for. Honored. I'm very honored to have this copy of the game. Huge shout out to uh, Open Owl Studios. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I've been enjoying this so far. I'm gonna move my camera. Hello. Nice to see you. Hopefully that'll make me a little bit more centered. All right. And we're back. <laughs> um, you should really go to TNT in Waterloo next time you are up this way. Great foods to be had, including high chews. Ooh, I do love a good high chew. Is BoatCon where you got the boats and hose joke from last year, Lonely Island style? I am not sure. <laughs> all right so as you guys can see i am playing as the crafter i've been enjoying the crafter i will say that you can switch between characters each season so because we are starting a new season i could decide to switch to another character but personally i'm really enjoying playing with the crafter so i'm just sticking with it I might do year to year, so I might do four seasons with the crafter and then maybe switch over to something else. Um, whoa, we got Wolfpack in the chat. Aroo! <laughs> aroo, aroo! <laughs> Tim, I expect on the next video, you must end, end, your, end your video with aroo, aroo! <laughs> aroo, aroo! <laughs> you don't have to do that, Tim. But it'd be funny if you did. We need to hear a little awoo awoo. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna do that this entire stream now. All right, so. Do I have everything? I do believe I have everything ready to go. I do keep this readily available for me. This is the crafter journal. So it has all of the rules for the crafter. Um, and it also has like what I do for the day here. Um, so I just keep this beside me to make sure that I am going through all of the stuff. <laughs> Jenna, I will end the next video like that for you. <laughs> Including this very clip. You better not. You better not put this clip in. I swear, Tim. Oh, oh. <laughs> you walk. You walk to the forest and then you hear, oh, oh. <laughs> that would be scary. I agree. Honestly, if a, a wolf actually sounded like that, that would be a little bit scary. All right, so like I said, I do think I'm going to play with the crafter for the rest of this year, and then I might switch over to another one for the next year. Um, but as you guys can see by my little town here, I have already built um, technically three things because you start out with the longhouse here. Um, I've built so far the general store. I've already, or I've also built the lumber yard as well as the chapel. These two. Um, as well as the fishing ground were just things that got built due to different events that happened. Um, but I did decide to uh, build the general store myself. Um, basically, you have this huge pile of different buildings that you can build. And you can look on the back and it tells you what different town resources you'll need in order to build it. Um, and then it tells you what spot on the side here that you put it. Um, this is kind of like the, the like building, uh, track, I guess is what you call it. Um, but basically every time you see a certain symbol, you're going to move it up, move it up, move it up. Um, that just means that it's in the process of getting built. And then eventually once it gets to the top and you move it out, you're going to add it to your town, which you cannot add it to your town until you have gotten rid of. Uh, one of these and made a space for it in your town. So um, I still have a space here. I have four here and four here as well for some building. Um, I have some crafting requests here that I've finished so far. Penny, what are you doing? Um, speaking of requests, I do need to, at the beginning of a season, you're gonna count up how many of these orange dice are in play. Um, I have one, so that means that I'm going to take out one request to start off the season with, um, but I do have to count up how many of these blue dice I have. So there are one, two, three in play right, right now, excuse me. Um, and then I'm going to take out the requests that have three or less. If I had four of these blue dice, I would take out some more of these requests as well. Um, there's also some for six and then eight, but I do not have that many dice in play. Um, so I just have the blank ones as well as the uh, number two ones. And this, like I said, depends on how many of these blue dice are out. And then you just shuffle those together. I'm also eagerly uh, waiting for the delivery of Mythwind, uh, so your live stream fits perfectly to shorten the waiting time. Nice! Mary, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, I will say there is possibly going to be some spoilers in here, uh, just to make you guys aware if you don't want to see any spoilers, obviously. Um, but honestly, I don't think this is a game that you can really have too many spoilers. Um, you have a little bit of like story with the events that come in, um, but obviously you can kind of go in a lot of different directions with the story. So as of right now, I'm kind of just discovering things about the world of Mythwind. Uh, they're kind of just like introducing the different creatures that are around, um, different things like that. So yes, so I'm shuffling up my requests. As the crafter, I do have requests that are going to be on cards. 
like this. And basically these are the goods that I'm going to need to get and I need to have the goods at a certain level. Um, so as the crafter, I'm gonna have these different goods down here and I'm going to be, I forget what exactly it's called, but it's the kind of the level of the, the good. Um, what is it called? It's probably in here. Refine, the refinement level, there we go. It's the refinement level. So this one here needs a orange, which I think they're all on here. So the orange is paper. So I need two paper at refinement level three. I need one birch at refinement level two, and I need one leather at refinement level two. So once I have all of those goods at the levels they need to be at, I can fulfill this request and that allows me to get some money. That's my main way of making money as the crafter. Um, and then I can actually put this one face down here and eventually you can trade in your finished requests to up the, um, I guess the amount that you get for each of these things. So you're kind of putting up your reputation, I guess. Um, I think that's what it's called. Um, yes, so you're upping your reputation in the certain type of good. Um, so people know that you're better at making that type of good. Um, so they will pay you more for a certain type of good, so. Watching while I play some Viscounts. Amazing, Joe. Jealous. I need to play some uh, more of the, uh, the West Kingdom series. I've already played all three of them. I just want to play them more. Aw, you are a, bless a blessing and wonderful gift to YouTube gaming. Thank you. Way of the Meeple, thank you so much. That's like the nicest thing someone has ever come into my chat and said. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I have $13, you guys can see here. We got some dice to use. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just get into how the game plays. Um, I have already um, developed some of my skills here that you guys can see. Um, all right, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to wake up in the morning at dawn. So basically we're going to play throughout days. Um, so each day during the season, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days in fall. And we're going to play through all nine of those days. And each day is compiled of dawn, daytime, as well as dusk. Um, so during dawn, we are basically going to flip over the first weather card. And that's going to determine the weather for today. So today is a nice cloudy day. I'm going to put that over here. And because it has this icon here, that means that I'm going to pick up an event card and I'm going to read an event. All right, cloudy day. Hi Jenna, cool to see you playing this. I know you were really looking forward to this. My wife and I have played the first two seasons so far and I'm enjoying the game uh, the more I play and learn. Yes, Studio Laniston, thank you so much for, for hanging out, coming into the chat, I appreciate it. Uh, yes, I was very excited about this one. Uh, I've been doing some content on it for Open Oral Studios and honestly I like the the content that I've done so far for my YouTube channel has just been like an unboxing and organizing but I was finally able to get into actually playing the game which is like the best part of it and I also have been enjoying it very much. I'm going into this is going to be the third season I'm going into um, so I'm around the same spot as you. I've gone through uh, spring and summer and I'm moving into fall now. And it has been very, very enjoyable so far. So uh, yeah, I'm happy that your wife and, and yourself are playing it as well. All right, so like I said, I am going to grab an event card. You guys can't see it off of camera, but I do have this tray here. This is kind of like the ongoing stuff, which actually, you know what we need to do? I need to shuffle these up and we need to choose our goal for the season. I forgot about that. So you are gonna have some goals and at the beginning of a season, you're gonna take two goal cards 
and you're gonna choose what goal you want to do. So, this is the total value of sprites at the tower must be 10 or higher. That sounds very difficult. And this one here is each character must go on one adventure. So this one actually seems pretty easy. So I think I might go with that one um, because I am playing this solo. So each character, AKA just me, I have to go on an adventure, uh, which is this action here. So I just have to remember to at least go on one adventure um, during this season. And then I will be able to successfully do that uh, goal there. Um, but yeah, like I showed you guys, I have this little tray here of different things. We have like the current events and stuff. I also did already do these events. Um, these events were ones that it says once I've finished events four through seven, I have to shuffle in event eight. So this, these are event four, five, and seven. So once I've completed uh, event number six, then I'm gonna have to shuffle those or shuffle number eight in as well. So the next event is number 53. And this is a rocky road. Shouts and yells echo from the construction site. The workers are arguing about the material storage with a project. Um, just as things come to a head, a strange new voice chips in. Stop it. That's not how you work together. <laughs> That's not how you work together. <laughs> Gotta be team. Make better stuff. <laughs> Do you guys like that that voice? I don't know who this is, but between the workers is a rock golem. Okay, so that was a rock golem with its arms out, um, gesturing wildly. To the villagers' surprise, the golem is teaching them tips on how to uh, procure the best granite and sandstone. <laughs> That's not how you work together. Uh, so I'm going to gain one, what is that? I believe that's water. Production. I'm going to gain one production. If production is your highest resource, gain one um, of the die. What if it's one of the highest? Because I'm going to gain one production. And it is now the highest, but tied with two other ones. 10 out of 10 voice, please continue the rest of the stream like that. No, thank you. <laughs> Can we please get Jenna's narration for this request, please? Because then I won't stop putting it on repeat. No, don't do it. That's not how you work together. Can you imagine seeing a little rock golem talking like that? It's adorable. All right, so I don't know if I gain an orange die because technically production is the highest. Can you read the card again? Absolutely not. You are not, you're not getting that from me. I'll, I'll just read what the, the rock golem says. Stop it. That's not how you work together. Gotta be team. Make better stuff. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's me. <laughs> that's all you're that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> okay. So just because I'm me and I wanna make this the best it could possibly be for me. I think this is considered production being the highest because also food is the highest and uh, culture. I need to get these down. Red is culture. Orange is income. Blue is production and purple is food. So those are the four different ones. But also this seems like a chill game, so do what's best for you, unlike uh, Kingdom Death Monster, where it's what's worst for you. Yeah, I agree. Jenna, the wording. 
I need the wording in the rules. <laughs> oh, there has to be some memes uh, out of the stream. Oh, God. <laughs> Please, no memes. Please, no memes. All right, so I'm going to say that production is the highest or one of the highest. So I am going to be able to gain a die. There's two different types of die. There's the orange that are villager dice. And there are the blue, which are sprite dice. So those are like the magical creatures. We're going to roll this villager die. Put that into here, which this is the tower. I forget what the tower is called, but it's just at the tower. So those are available for me to hire eventually. I have hired these three here. Um, and okay. So that was everything for dawn of the first day. We've already done the event. Everything's good there. I have to keep an eye out for different weather patterns. So eventually, once we get through uh, some of the weather, we're going to be checking for these specific patterns in order to gain things. So if I get cloud, sun, cloud, that will allow me to add one food to our resources. If I get three clouds in a row, I have to get rid of one culture, which is not great. So no more clouds, please. If I get specifically sun, rain, cloud, that's going to allow me to, I believe that means that I can add a skill, which would be kind of nice. I didn't need your narration. I needed the words from what is highest. All good though. Oh, <laughs> it says gain. I'll show you the card if it will focus down here. Can you see that? It's basically gain one production. If production is your highest resource, gain one town die. Hello from Canada. I love your content. It's very cozy and I look forward to more of your solo content. I'm getting Mythwind for my birthday this week and I'm so excited to play it. Heidi, thank you so much. I'm getting so many nice people coming into my chat. This makes me so incredibly happy. Uh, where in Canada are you from, Heidi? Because I'm also from Canada, if you did not know. Um, thank you so much for watching my content. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it and I am so excited for you to get Mythwind. That's an awesome birthday gift. Yeah, a lot of us are from Southern Ontario. <laughs> I love that instead of reading the card to George, she just shows him the card. Read it yourself, George. Do your job. Read the card. <laughs> okay, so we're all done with uh, dawn. We're going to move to daytime which the first thing that you do during daytime, if you're playing this multiplayer, you uh, all together would do this, but basically each character gets to perform one town action. So there are four different spots for town actions here and here. And then you can also go to one of the buildings that you've built to do an action there. So we have this one here, which I can spend some money to hire some workers. This one here, I can spend some money to add to my resources. Um, this here, I can also um, excavate a spot. So I just spend five money in order to open a spot for uh, buildings, which seeing that I have the fishing ground pretty, excuse me, close to being done, I probably should do that action pretty soon. This one here is to go on an adventure. Um, so I would pick up a card and I would do an adventure and then this one here is to build a building So I would go through this pile here I'd pick out what building I wanted to build pay the resources and then add it to where it is on the building um, Track I'm gonna call it a building track All right, so those are the four actions and then there's also the Chapel which you don't really go to the chapel the chapel just at the end 
of the uh, season, you get a culture. Um, this one here, I would have to pay one orange die and four coins in order to put production up. Um, spend three money in order to do one of my character's actions twice. Um, and then here is the longhouse and that I can either get one coin or I can get another skill. I would rule it is your highest. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, because I wanna make this game easy for me and fun. And yeah, I would like another town die. That would be nice. All right, so for my town action, I do think I'm gonna go here. Um, every action spot also does have a, um, I forget what it is, but it's basically your, um, uh, what was it called? It's like kind of what what uh, side you are for the round. Um, so either you being uh, on the villager or the sprite die side. There's a specific name for it. And depending on the side that you take for that round, it kind of dictates what actions you can take. I forget what it's called. Do 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 do. love watching you on YouTube. Sorry for gushing, but you're amazing. You're so chill. You de-stress me, probably lowers my blood pressure. Okay, back to the game. Just had to say that. Oh, Rainwater Games, thank you so much. Why is everyone being so nice today? You guys are gonna like make me cry. For real, you're so nice. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad that I can do that for you and kind of give you that like chill environment that I feel like a lot of us need nowadays. Um, I've definitely discovered a lot of like just content creators and just things on the internet that have brought me that like de-stressing and calming vibes uh, and I, I love them. So if I'm able to be that for you, that makes me so incredibly happy. Um, so thank you so much for saying that. Happy Solo Thursday! Hello, Reggie! For real this time, it's actually Thursday. Who would have thunk? It's actually Thursday. Maybe it's in my crafter journal. It's really gonna... it's gonna bug me if I can't figure out what this thing is called. Alignment! It determines your alignment. There we go. So basically, it uh, whatever action you take is going to determine your alignment for when you start taking your actions here. Um, so for example, if I take an action that needs the spirit or... Uh, is it spirit? Sprite. It's sprite. Sprite alignment. So in order to do these three actions, I'm going to have to take an action here that allows me to take the sprite alignment, whereas this would be the... Uh, villager alignment um, for these three actions here um, so yeah I'm going here that's going to align me with the sprites so I will say that um, and that is going to allow me I'm gonna spend five monies and I am going to open up a spot for the fishing ground and I kind of want to put the fishing ground somewhere that like makes sense. So I kind of want to like go here because it's like by the, the water. Um, and then you flip over this. That's going to allow you to get some sort of reward. So we are actually going to gain 
one of any resource. So I think, speaking of resources, this is the next uh, building I want to build, which is the monument. And the monument is going to require three production, one food, and one culture. So maybe I should grab, maybe I should grab another production just so that when I do spend my production to build the monument, I'm still gonna have some left. So I'm gonna grab a production for that. This is just going to get discarded. And now this spot here is open for whenever that fishing ground is finished. So that's gonna be good. Uh, what's this game most like? Honestly, Reggie, it's really hard to... I hate this stream. I will watch to be miserable. What? I'm going to come back to <laughs> your question after, Reggie. I need to catch up on what is happening here. Break Jenna tonight. No time to be incredibly mean to her. <laughs> oh boy. You guys are funny. This game looks... Uh, light on the table. I just missed out on it over at Board Game Bliss. Sold out now. Oh no. Hopefully Board Game Bliss gets more. Um, I will say, um, Patton I believe is your name. Uh, they are going to be doing a reprint of this. Just to let you guys know, um, Opla Open Owl Studios is doing another campaign for Mythwind. Um, sometime in 2024 I believe. So they will be doing a another reprint of Mythwind and they also will have additional content for it uh, during that campaign. So very excited for that. So if you did miss out on Mythwind, um, they are going to be having another printing of it. So that's very exciting. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still slightly sick. I'm assuming that's supposed to say lit, not light. <laughs> I think I might have read it as it looks light on the table, but it does look lit on the table too. But yes, anyways, Reggie, Reggie, to answer your question, this game honestly is unlike any other that I've played thus far. Um, it is very much open there's not really like an ending to it. So it's kind of just you're building up this world and you can kind of just stop whenever you want. Um, you can switch between characters, which is very fun. So eventually once, you know, I'm getting a little bit tired of the crafter, I can take a break from the crafter. I can switch over and play as the farmer for a bit, play a little bit with his like different mechanics because each uh, different character plays completely differently. Um, obviously, you're still working towards the same things, but they are doing different actions um, each day in order to make money. And then that money is going to allow you to, um, you know, build up your town even more or your village even more. And you're just doing stuff each day to make your town better and following along on this, this story that I have really enjoyed so far. Um, but yeah, it's really unlike anything else. It's honestly like the thing that I can compare it to the most is like an Animal Crossing or a Stardew Valley video game specifically because with those games you can kind of just hop on that game anytime and you can kind of work towards small goals and stuff. Um, so that's really cool. You always have like a different goal to kind of go towards. So you still have goals that you're accomplishing but there's not that sort of like end game big goal. You know, I guess you could say like build up your village to the best of your ability could be like your end game goal. Like once you have really made your town into something you love and you've kind of gone on enough of the story, that could be your end game. It just, I guess it depends on the person. It's very open worldy for sure. To balance all the wholesomeness, I feel like I have to be mean now. Don't be mean, Nat. So I'm going to go ahead and say it. What are you going to say? <laughs> we can spoil Jenna too much. Aw, you guys are so nice. Where's Nat? He can add some jokes to break the gushing beltitudes. 
I don't think your British accent is very good. <laughs> I think it is very good, Nat. It is very good British accent. <laughs> no, it's actually horrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're not gonna do the British accent this uh, this stream. This game looks tubular on the table. Tubular, bro. <laughs> looks lit. All right, so what have I done so far? We have excavated this area over here for our fishing ground. So eventually that is going to be built there. So that is good. I think that is everything for my town action. So next we're gonna go into my character actions, um, which my character actions are all about my crafts and my goods and refining. <laughs> no more British accent. <laughs> the real beauty of the game uh, too is that setup and teardown is five minutes or less. So it's easy to pull out, uh, play a bunch of a little and really put it away. Yep, exactly. Honestly, like it does not take any amount of time at all. Like basically once I'm finished this, you just take these things off of here and then you just take these three boards, you just leave them exactly how they are and then you stack them into the tray and you put everything back in your personal character tray and then you just put it back in the box and it is just so easy and simple. Everything kind of just goes into your box here and you just quickly put it away it is really, really nice that way, so. I'm not motivated enough to solo open world, but happy to watch, it's so pretty. Yeah. I honestly, like, didn't think I would enjoy it, but I'm really enjoying it. Like, just putting on some headphones and listening to some, like, lo-fi and then going on adventures and, like, working on my town. I just, I've been loving it. More British accents, please. It's Mythwind, isn't it? In it, in it. <laughs> okay, so the first action that I can do is I can either decide to sell an item or a uh, good. No, not good. What are they called? Sell a material. Material. All these different things are materials. I can either sell a material or I can restock a material. So. This is going to be based off of my alignment. So my alignment is the sprite. So I have to do one of these three here. So I can either do birch, paper, or fabric, I believe is green, canvas. So I can decide between those three. Um, and because I do need a lot of paper for this uh, request that I have here, I think I am going to restock paper. So I'm gonna take one paper good and I'm going to throw it into my bag. Shake those up. I do have some from the last time I played as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, yep, another reprint and expansion. Hope for March 2024. Wow, that's so much sooner than I thought. I am so excited. Dude, so pumped, okay. So I have done my restock or sell. Um, that was this one here. So if I did have one of these skills in this spot here, which actually, let me see if I can zoom you guys in here. There we go. So if I did have my skill here, because I took a paper from my restock and this skill is in the line of that, I would be able to do the skill as well, but because it's there, I didn't pick birch. If I did pick birch, I would have been able to do that um, good there as well. But because I did paper and I have no skill here, I'm not going to be performing any sort of skill, um, but I did do that. I am going to gather material. So I'm gonna take my bag here. We're gonna pull out three material. So these are the three materials that I've pulled out, pulled out, English. <laughs> Are you sure you're not Californian? No, Nat is hench and British. Do not ruin his image. 
So then these are going to go into my inventory. So I have one of each of those and then I can work to refine my materials. So basically in order to move things up, I have to discard one of the same materials. So the only ones that I can do right now um, in order to refine this paper that I already have here, this is a level one refinement paper. In order to move it to the next refinement level, I have to discard this one here from my inventory. And that's gonna go back into the bag. And then because I do have another birch, I do need a one birch at refinement level two. So I'm also going to discard that birch there. And we're going to move this up to refinement level two. There we go. And then I can just decide to add this green one in here for refinement level one. Maybe we can do that. Brian, thank you so much. Brian, welcome to Bud. Welcome to Bud. I appreciate that, Brian. Thank you, thank you. Have you tried any of the other characters so far or just uh, the crafter? I've only tried the crafter thus far. Um, I think I was explaining this before, but basically I think I'm going to play the crafter for a full year. You can change it from season to season, but I'm, I'm deciding to do a full year with the crafter and then I might switch over to either the merchant or the innkeeper possibly. Um, those were the other two that I was kind of going towards. Um, the farmer looks very fun as well. Um, but yeah. Oops, forgot I didn't do that. Uh, this buds for you or something. It's a marketing thing from the 90s. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> All right, so I think that's everything for the refinement. I can't refine any more of my goods. So then we go into performing worker actions. So that is going to be these workers here. So I can decide to do some additional actions if I want to. Um, I'm kind of tempted to get some more requests out. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to tick it down to one pip. I'm going to place it here and this is going to be that I'm going to sell this green good and wherever the refinement level is that's going to be the uh, reward that you get for selling. So because this is refinement level one that means that I am going to sell this. When you sell something it goes back into the supply and then I'm going to be able to get one additional request. So I'm going to take one off of the top here flip it over and that's going to be another request that I can work towards. So this one is going to need two purple at refinement level two, which I do already have one purple at refinement level three. You can always spend like even more refinement than uh, it needs. So I need two purple at refinement level two and one green at refinement level one. So I literally just sold one, but that's okay. Um, okay, so that I can also use these additionally if I would like. Um, I can't do this one again, unfortunately. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take it down to one and I'm going to go here and that's going to allow me to restock a purple. So I'm going to restock a purple. And I'm going to put that in here. Unfortunately, when you do this with a worker, you don't get your skill action. So I'm going to restock a purple. And that's everything. So that's everything for my daytime. That's all of my character's actions on here. So we can go back to here. We move into dusk, which is I return my character to here. I am then going to return my workers. So if they still have something on them, they just get returned to here. I'm pretty sure. This is the one thing that I didn't know if I was doing correctly. It might be that you return these to here. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, what I've been doing, and this again might be wrong, I have been, when it says return workers, if they still have a pip on it, so if they still have like action 
um, abilities. I put them back in here for me to use again. But once I pip this down one more, or tick this down one more, I guess, to zero, I wouldn't put it back in here. I would re-roll it again, and then I place it into the tower. I think that's how it is. Um, if Brendan is still in here, or Natalie, I don't know if you can answer this for me, but is that how the workers work? Once I have used it all the way down to zero, does it get taken out of the game or does it get re-rolled and put in the tower? Also, when you return a worker and it still has something, you don't return it to the tower, right? You return it to your own supply until you've used it fully. Pretty sure that's how it goes, but I could be wrong. Oh, I'm a bit behind on the stream, so I just heard Jenna uh, responding to my comment. I'm in Manitoba, and yes, I knew you were from Canada when I first started following your content. That's awesome. Manitoba, that's so fun. I, I need to travel to more spots in Canada for sure. I would love to go to Manitoba. I would love to go to Alberta, BC, Nova Scotia, PEI. A lot of places in Canada I'd like to go. All right, so that is everything. And then I do have an opportunity to fulfill requests if I had the correct uh, materials at the correct refinement levels, but I do not. So we're not gonna be able to fulfill any uh, orders or requests. So we're moving on to the next day. So we're gonna perform that over and over again until we have gone through all of the weather cards and then the season is going to be over. So. Let's move on to day number two. I'm hoping to see a sun. Please be a sun. Sunny day. Uh-oh. Uh, no, uh, oh, this is not good. We cannot have... If I get one more cloudy day, we are unfortunately going to lose one of our uh, culture. I think that's culture. Um, but we have another cloudy day, unfortunately. Um, so, you guys can see, cloudy day, sadness. Okay. <laughs> so I am going to read another event card. How exciting for this. Uh, that's right, they only go back to the tower at zero pips. Okay, perfect. That's what I thought, and I'm glad that I've been playing it correctly. It's terribly cold, do not recommend Winnipeg. Oh goodness, <laughs> yeah. Hold off on Alberta for a bit. We just finished having negative 40. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to like, you know, coming and traveling and visiting there when it's summertime. <laughs> I do, I do hate winter here in Canada. And like some of, yeah, some of your provinces get it even worse than us here in Ontario. So <sighs> I've heard some crazy things about the cold weather recently. Pro tip, if you are behind on the stream, go to the settings and select 1.25 or 1.5 speed and you'll slowly catch back up to the live. You can do faster, but then it's all chipmunk mode. Put Jenna in chipmunk mode. Do it, I dare you. Do a road trip, Jenna. You can get to uh, New Brunswick in 15 hours, then do day trips out to PEI, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland. I would love that. I do wanna go out east, is that east? Yeah, I think it's east. Um, okay, let's read this lovely little event card. This is actually the last of the four event cards here. And this is kind of just introducing the different creatures of Mythwind. So I've already talked to the rock golems. I've talked to the wood golems. And I've also talked to the swamp spirits. And then today I am talking to the fairies. Ooh, we're getting introduced to the fairies. Fairies aren't as rec reclusive as other sprites because they can fly. They live high up amidst the treetops. 
Uh, getting up there is going to take some special climbing equipment, equipment that must be built from scratch. As your group climbs, the fairies flit around, laughing and encouraging you. Thanks, fairies. <laughs> by the time you reach the top, you expect to find the fairies impressed by your efforts. But instead, they're nowhere to be seen. What the heck? Oh, no. So every uh, villager die is going to get put down once. I believe that is what that icon is. It says villager die at the tower. All the pips will be put down by one, unfortunately. And if culture is your highest resource, which it is not, my highest resource is production. Uh, shuffle in event 50, otherwise shuffle in event 51. Okay. Let me shuffle in event 51. The amount of like event cards is insanity. So we're gonna shuffle in 51. which I'm not actually shuffling anything in because there's nothing else there right now. Uh, but because we did finish off all four of these, it now says um, when you've resolved events four through seven, shuffle in event eight. So we're gonna put those aside and I'm gonna get event eight out. Put that in the event slot. There are only two event cards, so I'm just gonna shuffle them up not really pay attention to which one is on top and then put them back in okay so that is everything for the event we just uh, learned about the fairies and now we are moving on to the day phase so I'm going to figure out which action I want to perform I could actually build the monument now. I think I have enough for the monument. And the monument is going to be at number two. So it would actually be a good time to get that in. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to this action here. And I am going to build the monument. The main reason why I want the monument is because there is a specific card called the Community Garden. This is the Community Garden card. I really want the Community Garden in my town as soon as possible. And the prerequisite to the Community Garden is the monument. So in order for me to build the, the Community Garden, I have to have the uh, monument first. So I am going to pay what I need for the monument. Um, the monument does have a prerequisite of the general store being there too, so I do have the general store there. I'm going to spend one, two, three production, one food, and one culture. And we are going to build... Shoot! No, no, that's fine, that's fine. We're going to build the monument. I was just going to say... I don't want the monument to go here, I want the fishing ground, but the fishing ground's gonna go out before it. Let's build this monument! Hello, best at Star Trek, how are you? General store check, heck yep. Yeah. We got a general store here in my town. For Alex, you want to use the 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 speed? <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, so we have built the monument. So it is now getting built as we speak. Um, I did take the alignment of the uh, villagers. I think that's what it is. So we are now going to move on to my character actions. And I think I'm going to do this one here. Let me zoom you guys in again. I feel like it's good to zoom you guys into this when I'm doing my character actions. So, I'm going to do this one here. So that's going to allow me to restock a purple. Throw that in there. And then, my skill here is that I can actually restock any other one that I want. So I'm going to restock a green. 
because I do need a green for my second request there. Uh oh. So I now have lots of goods in my bag here. So that was that. Resolve my skill, which I did. We are then going to gather materials. So I'm going to, again, pick out three from my bag. I applaud you for not getting lost playing solo and doing chat at the same time, not easy. Uh, I forgot so many times. It is very difficult. Um, I have had a lot. Oh, wow. We just got three, three purples. That actually is really good. Um, yeah, I have been doing it for a long time. Uh, it's very difficult. I, I know like when I first started, it was more difficult and I've been getting better. Yep, I think I just caught the dye thing a, a bit, but doing it correctly. Okay, perfect. Ugh, what a relief. I literally thought I was doing it wrong the whole time, and I was, like, allowing myself to have, like, these these dice for longer than I should have had. Uh, so I'm very happy that that's the way it works. It does make sense, because um, you're kind of building up your dice pool um, as the game goes on. So that's good. All right. So, it is now time for me to do some refining here. Uh, I am going to add a purple here, and then I'm going to discard a purple in order to refine this purple up to the second level. And then, I think I'm just going to add another purple in here because I do need a purple for this one as well. I need two purples for this request and one purple for this request. So we're needing a lot of purples, a lot of purples. Okay. So we are now finished with my refining. So I'm going to move into some actions here, which I think I'm just going to finish off this die here. And I'm going to add an orange. I'm going to restock my orange here. Add that in there. And you know what? Might as well. I'm going to finish off this orange one here. And I'm going to restock a green. Like so. And then I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to move it down to a two. And I'm going to add it over here. So basically if I add to here, I am allowed to refine one good, one level of my choice. So I am going to move this up to here. I will mention that you can only have a maximum of four in each of the refinement things. So I already have four in refinement level two, so I cannot add any more there. Um, okay, so that is everything for my workers. We are going to bring her back. These two workers are zero, so we are going to roll them and put them back at the tower. Oh my lord. These workers, oopsie, are not very strong. They're all at one. This one here still has two, so I'm going to put that back. And fulfill any requests I can. I cannot fill any requests yet. Hello, Meeple Mike. Welcome to the stream. Also, Adam, successful geek, here for the mac and cheese? Heck yes. I'm always here for the mac and cheese. Honestly, every day I'm here for the mac and cheese. <laughs> it's the best. Is it wrong to call in sick to work if this game shows up at my front door? Absolutely not. You just let them know. You're going on an adventure. You're sick, and you're going on an adventure. <laughs> Kevin! Hello, Kevin! Welcome to the stream. Kevin is also uh, part of the Open Owl Studios team. Uh, so everyone, say hello to Kevin. Welcome, Kevin. How are you? How's it going? All right, so that is everything for our second day. We're going to move on to the third day. Why is mini building so difficult? I do not know. What are you trying to build, George? Okay, so if this is a another cloud, I'm not going to be very happy. If it's a sun, 
I'm going to be very happy. Boom. Woohoo! Oh, and it has the building. Nice. So this was honestly the best card we could have gotten. We got a sunny day today, everyone. It is beautiful in Mythwind. And this icon here is that we are going to move up all of our buildings. So. We are going to take our fishing ground. It's going to move onto the board. Um, this icon here means that I will add another blue sprite die to the tower. Roll that, add that to the tower. And then this is going to flip over and it is going to be added to here. And then the monument is going to get moved up. So it is one step closer to being built, which that actually means that we need to excavate another spot for the monument. I don't know where I want to put the monument, but we will see when we get to it. Um, the fishing ground here, if I take this action, I, I believe it's that I can take one less uh, character action and I can exchange either one income or one production for one food or one culture. I believe that is what that is. How long is one game session? Um, so if you were just like sitting down and playing through one season, which is nine, nine rounds or nine days, um, that probably takes me about an hour. Uh, it takes like five minutes to set up sit down play one session for an hour a season and then you clean it up takes another five minutes and then you move on with your day um i think that's like one of the best parts of this game is that you can set it up and take it down so easily so it is incredibly easy to get to the table um if you do sit down and play multiple seasons uh obviously it's going to take longer but probably on average about an hour per season i would say depending on how many seasons you play I'm here. I think this isn't uh, the very end of the stream. Hello, Devin. It is not the end of the stream. Uh, we are three days into nine. So we still have six days left. You're a third of the way through. Surprise setup is fast. It looks massive. See, that's, that's the thing that gets you. Basically, you have this tray which is like your gameplay tray. And then all you do is take each of these boards and you just put them back in. So you just have these three boards that you put back in. You put the dice back in, which actually these get to be moved down. So these are all the dice that you don't have access to. And you take this little like divider thing and you divide it and then you can put all the dice here that you have access to so any of the dice that I have in my tower here I add them here I put these three boards onto here you put the the little top on and then you literally just pack up all of your characters items put the top on that and then put them back in the box that's it the thing that does make it look massive is I do have a play mat here um, but this is like an optional thing, um, so you don't necessarily have to put the playmat out. Um, but yeah, it's as simple as just putting this board away, putting your character stuff away, and then that's... That's it. Alright, so where was I? We did... We did this. I think dawn is over, so we're gonna move into daytime. Uh, so I can do a town action. Oh, you know what? I was going to look up exactly what the fishing ground is. You have all of the different... This is like the, the tree of the different buildings and the prerequisites for each of the buildings. And then you have what all the buildings do. So this is... Fishing ground. So this is do not take a character action this game day. You may lose one income or production to gain one culture or food. Okay. What 
is happening? Devin is here. Does that mean we have to stop talking about Alex or does that mean we, uh, we're talking about him more? <laughs> hey, you guys, what game would you compare this with just, uh, so I have a frame of reference. Honestly, it's very difficult to compare this to anything. Um, maybe you can sl just slightly compare it to, uh, Merchant's Cove, but Merchant's Cove is like a game game, like you do have an ending and you're getting victory points and stuff. The thing that makes me compare it to Merchant's Cove is the fact that each character plays differently, but this game, you do not have like victory points and like an end game kind of thing. You're pretty much playing your individual character that has some sort of individual unique mechanism but you are playing your character in order to do the same thing as everybody else together cooperatively it is a cooperative game uh, or obviously a solo game and basically you're just building up your village and you're going on different adventures and learning about this world of Mythwind and kind of just going along on this story um, there are different uh, goals that you can go for each season, different things like that, um, but there's not like a ending to the game. You can kind of continue until you've, I guess there is an ending once like you've experienced all of the content that there is, like all of the story content, um, but yeah, there's not really like a end game, you know? You're just working on your, your town and discovering all that there is to know about Mythwind. Oh, I miss you too, Devin. I'm so excited for level up. Nice. Love a storage that saves the game. Yep, I agree. Will you include cleanup in the stream uh, to see what saving the game looks like? Absolutely. I can definitely do that. For sure. All right. So, moving on. I'm going to do my action, my town action. I could hire two workers if I wanted. The only crappy thing is all of these workers are very low. I think I might actually go on... Hmm, I either go on an adventure or... I excavate a spot for the monument. I am just worried that if tomorrow another card comes up that allows me to get this out, I'm not going to be able to utilize that icon because if an icon comes up that you are allowed to build and you don't have a spot for it, it just stays where it is. So. Maybe I excavate first. So I'm gonna go here. I'm uh, losing my money. I don't have very much money left. I'm gonna spend five dollar, make Yahala. And where do we want the monument to go? Let me know where you guys want the monument to go. I'm thinking I either put it up here or I put it over here. It might be nice here because it's like on top of this like mountain area. I think that would be nice. Should we put it at the top or to the right? I would like you guys to decide for me. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have some Sour Patch Kids. Whoa. Sorry about that. I feel like we need to explain now, lol. We were talking about adjusting the playback speed to catch up to live, and we determined Alex should just be on half speed by default. Yep, I agree. Hello, Joe. Welcome to the stream. Joe Huddleston. Hello. Monument has to go top. I agree. Yep. Good call, everybody. 
up on top of the big cliff overlooking the entire town makes sense okay so i'm gonna go here i paid my five we're going to excavate this area up here it's going to give us ooh, oh that's not good so this icon here it has a little hand on it the hand underneath means that any that i have in my supply so unfortunately i do not have any of these in my supply so i cannot utilize this reward that's unfortunate sour patch kids heck to the yes i had, <laughs> I had no idea what i was saying top two <laughs> i just felt left out <laughs> jenna snack counter yep so unfortunately I cannot really utilize that, but it's okay. I didn't really need it. I didn't need it. All right, moving on. We're gonna do my character actions. So I'm going to, I'm aligned with the sprites. So I'm gonna do one of these three actions here. Let's do, I don't really know what I want to do, honestly. I'm going to do a orange. I'm going to restock an orange, a paper, into here. Okay. The paper doesn't have a skill attached to it, so we're going to move on. We're going to gather materials. Is there any gameplay reasoning for why it would be uh, be built in one place versus another or just for your own creative organization? It's kind of both. Like I, I obviously want to have my village look nice. So it is cool to have the monument up here um, just for like creative reasonings, but also each of the different spots on the back of the card does have some sort of reward. So maybe if I thought that this one had a better reward than that one, um, obviously it's kind of random, so you wouldn't know. Um, but yeah. Someone send Jenna some gummy worms. She seems like a gummy worm kind of gal. I am very much a gummy worm kind of gal. I am very much just a gummy candy kind of gal. One, two, come on, I need some oranges. There we go. So we're gonna restock our inventory here. I got an orange, a green, and a purple. Didn't really need an another purple. We got a ton of, actually we do need a purple. Okay. Haribo gummies are the best. I haven't really had a ton of Haribo gummies. I do think, or Haribo, Haribo. Harry bow? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, we have them here in Canada, I think. It has like a bear on the front, right? I think. <laughs> okay, so I am going to do some refining. I'm gonna add green to refinement here. Are these, I need another I'm gonna discard this orange to move up this orange to refinement level three. This gets discarded into my bag. And then I'm just gonna keep this purple one here in my inventory, because I don't really need it right now. Harry Bow is how I pronounce it. And yes, bear is the main visual for the brand. See, I knew it. I know what Harry Bow is. All right, so I'm finished with refining. Um, I can if I want. Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do? Shoot. That would have been a smarter way for me to do it. Let me get that orange back. So instead of discarding this orange to refine this to level three, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add this to my inventory. I'm gonna refine this to level one. And then moving on to this round here, 
I'm going to tick this down to pip number one and I'm going to move this up with that. Instead of discarding, I'll add that to there like so. I think that's good. Okay, so that was my worker action. So then we're gonna move back my character. We're going to return workers. I don't have very many workers left. And then can I fulfill any of these? <gasps> I can, we can fulfill a request, everyone. This is so exciting. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see. So this request here is going to need two purples at refinement level two. So I do have two purples at refinement level two. And then I also need a green at refinement level one. I also have that. So I can put these back into here, back into the supply. And then this is going to allow me to get two coins plus my reputation for this type of good, which is purple. You can see here, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but each of the different colors, so you have red, orange, uh, green, purple, and blue. Each of them, as you get the reputation up, is going to make that specific good worth more. Um, but as of right now, my purple is five. So I get two plus five, so I get seven coins. Plus, I get to flip over another request. So let me get my money. So I got 10 monies now and I get to flip over a new request. Boom. And that is everything for that round, for that day. Do, 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 Ooh, you can get a, a three kilogram bag at Costco, Jenna, of Haribo. Haribo? Hair, Haribo. Haribo. Are you a Haribo guy, Devin? <laughs> My wife and I go for the gummy bears, Cokes, cherries, and twin snakes. Yum. Anyone else here waiting for the Mythwind reprinting in March? What's your opinion on it? So far, or, uh, is that an L? Oliro? Is that how you pronounce your username? Um, so far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I am loving the crafter. It's very fun. I'm kind of like, I, I don't really want to change from the crafter. I'm having a good time with the crafter. Um, but yes, very excited for the reprint, um, specifically because it uh, does have an expansion going along with it. So I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. We should make it a point to bring her lots of gummy bears next time she goes to the con a, a convention. Oh gosh. You guys are going to make my teeth fall out. I have really bad teeth. <laughs> I feel bad that we're all here talking about gummy snacks and she's trying to play the game. You're doing great, Jenna. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I don't get distracted by your crazy stuff in chat too much. I thought you wanted to play the innkeeper, Jenna. I did want to play the innkeeper. I do think I'm going to play the innkeeper next. Uh, the only thing is the innkeeper, I think is one of the most difficult um, like ones to play. They do have like a, a star ranking for like how difficult they are. And I do think it's the the merchant and the innkeeper, I think the most difficult ones. Um, I don't think any of them are five out of five. I think they're all f up to four out of five. And I think the innkeeper and the merchant are fours. Sweet, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Thanks for uh, the thorough share, no problem. I can't hear Innkeeper without laugh, uh, without laughing after rewatching How I Met Your Mother. I assume the new Kickstarter will allow a pledge level for just the new stuff for those of us who already uh, backed the uh, first time. Yes, so it will have a level where you can just get the new stuff. I'm assuming. Um, okay, so 
we're moving on to day four. So let's see what our, if we get a, another cloud, that'd be great. Cause that would get us another food. Cloudy. Uh, we got a sun. We got another sunny day. And we have a event. So let's take out the next event. Don't feel bad, Jenna's the one with Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, I got my Sour Patch Kids, I'm good. Okay, so event number 51. Where are the fairies? So we just climbed all the way up to the tree because we thought we were gonna meet the fairies and they weren't there. Um, although you have continued to search for them, the fairies remain elusive. Dun dun dun. Meetings are held in town to discuss whether they've been offended. Oh no, did we offend the fairies? A group of townsfolk spin tail or tall tales all evening about what will happen if this isn't resolved. Meanwhile, a group of children play at pretending to be fairies. Fix disrupts the meeting. Fix is one of the, the like, sprite characters. Um, disrupts the meeting with a laugh, and she points at the fairies watching the proceedings uh, with interest. So I guess the fairies were watching the kids play. Uh, gain one culture. Awesome. If you have already built the tavern, gain one sprite die, which we have not built the tavern, sadly. All right. So that is everything for dawn. Moving into daytime. I do need to go on an adventure. That's our goal, is each character must go on one adventure. So shall we go on an adventure, everyone? Shall we go adventuring? We do have a spot open for the monument. So just in case that happens soon, we can do that. I say we do it. Let's go on an adventure. Ooh, this is a long one. <coughs> This is right place, right time. Ooh, okay. You find a ridge overlooking a waterfall where the light sparkles. Through the mist, a scarcely believed creature swoops overhead. A white winged fox dances in the sky, darting and looping before landing on a rock high up the falls. It stares at you intently as its wings wrap around its body. Suddenly it dives off the ledge and hurtles through the air towards you. Impact is inevitable until the wings unfurl um, at the last moment. It is completely unbothered as it swoops inches above your head. By the time you look again, the sky is clear. It is gone. Dun dun dun. Oh my goodness. So this is some sort of winged, white winged fox. That sounds gorgeous. Some sort of beautiful Pokemon. <laughs> uh oh, Fairy's about to bring their armies down <laughs> on this town. Hope <laughs> you built up your military. No, no, no. They're nice people. I, I'm sure. <laughs> She's good. She's good, Beck. She put 16 talent points into advanced main battle tanks. <laughs> no. If you guys did not know, I'm very much the type of gamer that avoids all conflict. So you best believe if the fairies were coming after me, I would be running the other direction. All right. So there's two things that I could do. A, run back to town and tell everybody about this amazing white winged fox. Or B, keep this as a special secret for yourself. Should we keep this white-winged fox a secret, or should we tell everybody? I kind of want to keep it a little secret, to be honest with you. I feel like that would be fun. I'm gonna put some shower patch kids here. Gotta have one of each color. Secret! <laughs> a 
avoid conflict. Are you sure, Jenna? <clears throat> Root Andromeda's Edge? <laughs> Shh. Shh, Tim. I gotta keep up this, you know, outer... Outer thing. So that when people play with me, they don't expect it. They say, oh, Jenna, she's innocent. She doesn't like conflict. She won't come after me in a game of Root. Surprise! I will. <laughs> Tell the gang. Secret. Deploy the Sour Patch Kids into the town. There's a Sour Patch Kid at the, at the general store. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> Jenna, I demand a monthly Sour Patch Kids stipend for being forced to have a wrench. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep it a secret. I really wanna keep this a secret to myself. Macaroni and cheese, then sweets? You got your snacks sorted out for board gameplay. Heck to the yes, I do. Can you play Root without conflict? Honestly, I don't think you can. I was the uh, Vagabond, which I feel like the Vagabond is probably the one that you can like kind of avoid it for the most part, but not really. <laughs> Jenna isn't conflict adverse. She <laughs> revels in it. She does. Okay, so I'm going to keep it a secret. So I'm going to choose B. Option B. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that would have been nice. I should have I should have told everybody, guys. Okay, your secret keeps a smile on your face and a spring in your step. The creature's radiance drives you to new heights today. A keeper sprite recognizes your enthusiasm. They follow you home and find out what it's about. What does this icon mean? I have a little handshake icon. <gasps> I can hire a sprite die for free, yay! So I'm gonna hire this sprite die, obviously. Um, so the other option, so if I was to have went back and told people, I would have been able to up the pip number of all of them here at the tower. But it's okay. That's all right. That's all right. We don't need that anyways. Root without conflict is possible and deeply uh, demented. <laughs> yeah, let's play some Root. Or the success for the Blood Rage, Rising Sun. Uh, had it forever and need to get it played. I would love to play all of those with you, Natalie. Root, I need to play again. Blood Rage, I also need to play again. Uh, those were the only two that I've played. I haven't played Rising Sun either, so I would love to play Rising Sun. Vegavon can win without conflict. Very true. Very true. You don't have to go and attack people if you don't want to. You can kind of just stay under wraps. Okay. So that is everything for my town action. Got my sprite die. Awesome sauce. So let's get into all of my character actions. So I'm going to be able to, um, with that, it did align me with the sprites. Both of them, both options would have aligned me with the sprites. So I can do one of these three things here. So I am going to, I'm gonna restock a green. Throw that in here. We're gonna shake them up. Oh gosh, Jenna, don't forget about Loki Strat when you play uh, Blood Rage next. I am never going to take the Loki strat. It's like science and seven wonders, you know? No one likes the person that takes the science route. <laughs> Let's do it next time we can get a game day in before I have out west in February. Absolutely. Let's do it. I'm gone from February 1st to 5th, but once I'm back, when are you leaving in February, Natalie? Okay, so I got three here. We got a green, 
We got two oranges. Nice. I'm doing a little gathering of materials, and now I can refine my materials. Uh, so in order to do this one, I'm going to need two level three paper. I have one level three paper so far. I can actually discard both of these level or just paper, and that will allow me to refine this by one, two. So I got two level three paper. I got one level three uh, purple, which is leather, I believe. And then I got one level two birch. So I do have everything for this one. That's awesome. Uh, this one here, I'm gonna need a level, two level three greens. So let me refine this green. I need a level two purple. So let me put this here. And then I need a level two birch, which I don't have, but that's fine. All right. So that's everything for my refinement. I can now perform some of these actions if I want. I think I'm going to put this to zero and I'm going to level up this green. And then I'm going to put this one down to one and I'm going to restock a green because I do need quite a few greens for this next one here. Sour Patch Kids are expensive in this economy as it is. I can only imagine how difficult that would be as an unemployed lawyer to get that sour sugar fix. <laughs> okay. So, put back this worker. This one gets re-rolled. Placed in here. Take back my character. And then I can fulfill, let me zoom you guys in, I can fulfill this request here. So I need two level three paper. I need a level two birch and a level two leather, which I have a level, level three. So I actually have it more refined than I need. Um, so those are all gonna get put back into here. Red and purple. And then this is all finished up. So I get four plus uh, six for my orange goods because I've put up my reputation there. So I get 10 coins. Heck yes. Plus I get to flip over another request card. All right. And then this gets placed into my finished request cards. I actually should probably use these to get my reputation up for some of these goods. Um, which means that I do need to refine all the way up to level 5. Because that's the only way for you to get your reputation up. Um, so I should probably do that at some point. I love how all the components are neatly stored under the board. Yeah, I love it. Got like all your little your little things under here. And I do want to show you guys, underneath here, you have all of these dials. So once you have upped the reputation, you just turn it in order to show exactly how much each of the goods are worth for you. <laughs> hey Jenna, could you do a video on your current setup? I'm curious to see what you're working with. Uh, do you mean like for my my live streams and stuff? Like all of my my techie stuff? I would love to do that. I'm a huge fan of techie stuff. And I do want to eventually get some upgrades so it would be cool to like show you guys my setup right now all right moving on to day five let me get a little sour patch kib yep 
Yum, yum, yum. Yes, please. Okay. I will definitely add that to the list of content. All right. Next day is cloud. Ugh. But it's a cloudy day, but good cloudy day because we are finishing the build of the monument. There we go. So the monument has now been built up on the mountain. Beautiful monument. So in order for me to use the monument, I can put my character onto the monument and I can spend one pip from a blue die and four coins in order to get one culture, I believe. Let me see how much it's going to cost me to build the community garden. So the community garden is going to cost me one income, which I have zero right now. Uh, it's going to cost me three food. I have two food right now, so I need to get one more food. And then also one culture, which I have three of those. So we're pretty close. I plus one that content helped me, lol. <laughs> Um, hello there. I hail from the Table Knots. This is my first stream here, so hi. Oh my goodness, hello. Eric? Are you part of the Table Knots? Come hither to the garden of, of, of the board games. We have snacks and fun games. <laughs> But welcome to the stream. How's it going? How are you? <laughs> I'm not sure if if Eric is another name for another person from Table Knots. Is there a new member of Table Knots? Or is that just a username? All right. So, I am not going to the monument. I... 46 watching, only 19 thumbs up. Come on, people. Use those thumbs. We have snacks. Everyone thumbs up. Thumbs up. No, but I am an in real life friend of Doolin. Oh, fun. Love Doolin. AKA, what's his actual name? It's not Doolin. Starts with a J, I think. I know his actual name. But why do I forget it? I'm friends with him. Garden of Gardens for a second? I thought you were going to say Gardens of Garden. No, no. <laughs> boop, boop. Ha ha, it's Josh. Ha ha ha. Uh, being snowed in, but currently working on a 3D model paint. Very nice. Josh. Julin? Julin Doolin. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yes, Josh. Josh is a nice guy. Well, nice to meet you, Eric. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Currently playing Mythwind. Um, okay. So, we have built the monument. Now, let's go on to town actions. So, I have already done an adventure. That's the goal for this season, is that I need to at least go on one adventure. So I'm done with that. Because I have so much money, I could actually... Mm, maybe not. Because um, when you go here, if I went here, I could actually choose to spend some money in order to put up my resources. But in order for me to put up the food, I would have to spend 15 15 monies. That's a lot of monies for some food. So I don't know if I want to do that. We could try to go on another another adventure. We also could go to the fishing ground. And we could exchange. What do I need? So I don't need any production. So I could exchange one of my productions for one food. Is that worth it? 
I feel like it's not worth it. Hi, Sam. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Bad George Borge. <laughs> um, what is our best option here? Oh, shoot. You know what? I should have had all of my, uh... Oopsie. I do have some skills that I could be working towards. These are two skills that I could be working towards. We have working fast and loyalty. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to spend five monies. Ah! Do you guys hear the monies? Ooh, monies. Okay, I'm going to spend five monies. And I'm going to hire one and two. I'm going to hire two workers. And I'm also going to hire a Sour Patch Kid into my mouth. Yum. <laughs> All right. So. Because I did hire one of each die, I can actually take any of the alignments. I'm aligned with both. The villagers and the sprites. Hi, Penny. How's it going? Going good? That's good. Alright. So. Let me. What do I want here? I'm going to. I do need red, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. I'm going to restock a birch. That's going to allow me to then do this action here, which is uh, I think it's kind of like gather, but instead of getting three out of the bag, you just take out one. Boom. So that's going to allow me to have an additional thing in my inventory. Okay, and then I'm gonna gather. So I'm gonna take out three. One, two, and three. We have a lot of orange. So we've got two oranges and one green. All right. I wouldn't mind getting this working fast skill eventually. But again, I really want to work up to this as well. Getting my reputation up in some of these things. Um, okay, so we're going to do some refining. Let me zoom you guys in. Monies is a term only board gamers use. I agree. Money. I want my monies. happening. Hello Sam, I'm sure we can add more best men to that wedding. <laughs> what is happening? Hi, it's been a while. Uh, I'm always missing the stream. Sarah, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. Technically, this stream is far from over because this game has no end. Could go for years. Yeah. Could go for years. You never know how long I'm going to stay on here. I will stay on here until I finish this game. AKA, that's never. <laughs> the way you pronounce orange, Jenna. Or, do I pronounce orange wrong as well? How am I supposed to say orange? Orange. Orange. Uh, uh. 
Has anyone seen the TikTok <laughs> of the girl saying orange juice? This is how we make the orange juice. <laughs> this is where the orange juice is. And this is how you get your orange juice. <laughs> I think it's like someone working at McDonald's. <laughs> and the way that she says orange is like she's in pain. <laughs> you have to you have to find it on TikTok. Hi everybody. I want to show you how we 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 prepare the orange juice. <laughs> orange juice. Now I gotta go get me some orange juice. <laughs> oh, Jenna, it's not that funny. You guys have to go go and look up orange juice. E R N G E. Is Mythwind reaching your expectations? It is definitely reaching my expectations for sure. I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay. Let me refine. Let me do some refining. I think maybe instead of starting to go for requests again, I think I'm going to try to get this request done, um, which I do need a purple at level two. So I actually might use one of these to just put it up with that. I need a red. I'm going to put the red here. All right. And then I'm going to take that out. And then I'm going to put this green up to refinement level three. And then I'm going to put this orange here. This orange. <laughs> I got the orange for some orange juice. <laughs> I have to save my monies for when this game has a reprint. The reprint is coming in March. March of 2024, Sam. <laughs> now she's not going to be able to say orange normally for the whole rest of the stream. No, nope. we say an orange for the rest of the stream. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of this orange one and I'm going to refine this to level two. All right. All right. How many orange resources do you have, Jenna? I have one. Only one orange. <laughs> Apologies to anyone that finds me very annoying. I am so sorry. I will try to not be as annoying. Okay. So that is everything for refining. Um, I can decide to use any of these. Like I said, I do want to use this one to zero, and then I'm going to refine this purple up to refinement level two. And then... I think I'm going to use this orange. Orange. <laughs> I can't, I just can't, I can't not do it. I'm going to put it to zero in order to restock a green, which is a canvas. I wouldn't be watching your stream if, uh, we wouldn't be watching your stream if we found you annoying. Okay. I'm so annoyed, hence the wrench. <laughs> they brought the wrenches. Things about to go down. I'm gonna get attacked by wrenches. Not good. Okay, let me zoom this out. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna use this one yet. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. So these two workers are done. I'm gonna bring this back. We're gonna roll these two dice. Ooh, we got a level three. This one rolled a zero, so I'm gonna have to roll it again. And again, that, that was not good. And again, oh my god. Goodness. Oh, we got a two. We got a two. There we go. So those are the dice there. Um. All right. 
I got this back. Um, I can't fulfill any of my requests currently, so we are just going to move on to the next day. Moving on to day number six. Ooh, we got water. We got rainy day. And we do have the build track up one, but I have nothing in the um, building queue. So we're just going to ignore that. It's a rainy day today, everyone. Also, if annoying wasn't allowed in these streams, George would have banned me for real for real ages ago. <laughs> You're not annoying, Nat. You'll be so uh, bullied. Uh, you'll be afraid to say orange in the future. <laughs> orange. I will never be afraid to say orange. Okay. Um. What do I want to do this day? What shall we do today? I think I kind of want to go on an adventure. I have 15 monies. So I can't really... I could excavate, but there's no point in me excavating if I don't have a building in the building queue. So I th think... I think I want to go on an adventure. Is there any... Oh, that one allows for that. Oh, the bakery. Do I have the trading post? I do not. Can't build the, the bakery if I don't have the trading post. There's so many buildings, it's crazy. Oh, the library. That's adorable. Post office. Restaurant? <gasps> Yum! Oh, the restaurant's good. The restaurant's expensive, but the restaurant's good. The restaurant allows you to uh, put one of your workers down one pip, spend $5 to get two food, and then at the end of every season, you get two income. That is pretty good. Ooh, the saloon. Maybe I should work towards getting the saloon. But in order to build the saloon, I have to build the inn first. And how do I build the inn? Where's the inn? The inn is going to cost me two of each resource. Okay. We still got a long time until we're going to be building the restaurant. <laughs> I would love the restaurant and I would love the community garden. That would make me very happy. Okay, so I'm going to go on an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. I miss the beginning. Can you win or lose? Uh, what's the purpose? Basically, like George said, it's kind of n like very similar to those different like video games like Animal Crossing and uh, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley more so has an ending um, because I do believe eventually, I guess it's not an, an ending, it's just that you have eventually your grandpa comes and you have different goals that you are going to want to have completed before he arrives. Um, and then also you have the community center that you're working towards. Um, but it's more so Animal Crossing-esque where you can kind of just work on your island for as long as you want. And you can have your villagers and, and like kind of create this story and like learn about this whole world of Animal Crossing and stuff. It's very similar with Mythwind where you're kind of just learning about the world of Mythwind and going on adventures and having events happen and different things in the story of Mythwind. Um, at the same time, you are working up your character, um, you're gaining skills with each of the characters, you're building up your village, things like that. You do have like small goals that you're going to be working towards as well, um, but there's not like an end game kind of 
get to this spot and you will be finished the game. It's kind of just like a continue playing until you feel like you have gotten enough content out of it as you want. Um, that's kind of how it goes. If you can't win, you can't lose either. Yep. Is it a solo game? I thought about it a lot, but it's a long commitment game. It can be played solo, but it can also be played up to four players. So basically you have four different characters. Um, you can get a fifth character with the expansion, um, but there are four different characters in the base game. And if you're playing with four players, it is cooperative. So everyone is kind of working in their own player's tray um, while continuing to work together in your town. And then eventually each of the seasons, you can decide to like swap characters. So you can kind of experience each of the characters if you wanted. In a solo game, you can switch out to different characters. So for example, if I don't want to play the crafter anymore, I can at the end of this season decide to switch over to another one of the characters. Um, so eventually if like you get kind of bored of the mechanic of a certain character, you can kind of take a break from that and then go to another character that has a completely different mechanism to it. So, uh, yes. Okay. Whoa, what is this? So this is the adventure that I'm going on. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. <laughs> Just singing, you know. Anyways, uh, you've never been here before. Choose one. Roll a vi villager die or roll a sprite die. If there are no dice in the tower, nothing happens on your adventure. After rolling the die, flip the card over to read the results. Once you have completed this adventure card, Shuffle it back into the adventure deck. Ooh, this sounds fun. Um, Father Beasley. <laughs> Father Beasley is currently on vacation in... Are you guys in Mexico? Did you decide on Mexico? Everyone say, Father Beasley, hope you're having a good vacay, boy. <laughs> are you watching my live stream with everybody there? If you are... Hello, Mary and Steven. Hello, Kelly and Dean. How are you? <laughs> How's it going? Your nerdy, uh, am I, a, am I a niece? Am I a niece? Your nerdy niece, Jenna, is playing board games. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello, Matt. So now I am Team Jenna. You have to be. There's no other. Punta Cana. They decided on Punta Cana. You guys went back to Punta Cana? The last time you were in Punta Cana, I was there with you. Nope, just me. Okay. <laughs> Woo, paradise. Hell yeah. <laughs> Aw, Brian. More? Seriously, thank you so much. Brian, you really don't have to do that. You are so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nat was gifted a, a sub. Kiara, Mo, Burke, uh, Shimmy, Shimai, Ever Rookie Bricks, Kathy, Nicole, Bernard, and Krovax. So nice. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> At John Beasley, I've been told we now have to call ya boy Beasley. And I'm sorry, but this is <laughs> how you will be referred to. Ya boy. We went once after you. Oh, really? So this is your third time in Punta Cana? <sighs> what a life. What a life, Dad. I wish I could go to Punta Cana three times. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm going to roll either a orange die or a blue die. I think I'm going to roll a sprite die. I'm going to take one. I believe it's just from the tower. If there are no die in the tower, nothing happens on your adventure. 
Or maybe I just take it from here. I'm gonna just take them from the, the supply. So I'm gonna roll a blue die and we're gonna see what happens. So I rolled a one sprite. <gasps> oh no, are you serious? Okay, never mind. Okay. So if I rolled a sprite die and it was zero to one, the gods are angry. An earthquake sets back construction. Put back any buildings that you have in the construction queue. So I would have had to put them down one. Fortunately, we don't have any buildings in the construction queue. So we're good. Uh, we are going to lose one income. Heck to the yes, we can't lose any income because we don't have any. But we do gain one food. Woo! That's exactly what we needed. Oh, shoot. Never mind. That's if I rolled a two. Kidding. Kidding. Never mind. It's just that the one bad thing happened, which nothing bad happened because we don't have any buildings. All right. So that's that. This is going to go back into the supply. Yep. <laughs> Ryan, my dad is not quite retired yet. Fourth time in Punta Cana. Dang, so nice. Living the dream. Yeah, he still is working. Not fully, but soon. <laughs> okay. So, that is everything for my adventure. Uh, we are going to move on to my character things. What do I want to... So I did take the alignment of the sprites. So I do have to take either birch, paper, or canvas. I think I'm going to take canvas. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to take... Mm, eh. I'm going to take... Can I take blue? No, I can't take blue. Um, Sure. Let's take canvas. I'm going to do it. So we're restocking canvas. Honestly, I should have took paper. You know why? I'm going to put back my canvas. Because I'm going to try to get this paper here to five. So I'm actually going to do paper instead of canvas. Left for a bit. How's it going? It's going. It's going, Joe. We're on day number six of nine. I need to stop getting distracted by chat. <laughs> How long have we been streaming for? I don't think it's been too long. Two hours so far. I started at seven, so I've been streaming for like two and a half hours. Okay, so we're going to gather my goods. I'm going to gather my goods, baby. <laughs> my materials. So I got paper, birch, and canvas. Ooh, it's 24 degrees out right now. Wow, that's so nice. Do the Sour Patch Kids come with the game? They they do. They came right in the box. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I put them on the side there. It's like pulling the slots. You never know who gets gifted. So fun. Okay. So... I got my materials. Now time to refine. I'm gonna discard this orange. Go up one. I'm gonna add green. Do I need birch? I do need birch. So I'm going to discard this birch and I'm going to put this one up to refinement level two. All right. So that is everything. And then for my worker action, I'm gonna put it down once, go here. And I think I will Do 
I want to put the green up once. I'm going to put the orange up once. So I'm getting closer to being able to... Eh, maybe not. I'm going to put the green up once. There we go. So one step closer to getting that request finished. Uh, night, Jenna. Love you. Good night, Dad. Have a good rest of your vacay. They are coming home tomorrow, so have a good last day in paradise. Safe travels. Jenna, I got my pledge for Wonderland's War in. We need to play it. A lot of people have gotten their, their copies of Wonderland's War. I think Aiden also got his in. And my friend Kat also got her in hers in as well. Everyone's like, Jenna! We got Wonderland's War! We must play! I am pumped to play. Very pumped. I have played Wonderland's War once already, but I do want to play it more. It is a very good game. Leave the orange Sour Patch Kid for last, please. I will. 100%. <laughs> okay. So, that is everything for day number six. I'm going to bring my character back. I'm going to put back this worker. And I can't quite do this yet, but I almost can. Um, so, we are moving on to the next day. <laughs> Flip. We got water. It's raining for a second day in a row, and we're going to do an event. <laughs> Bye, ya boy, Beasley. <laughs> ya boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. And who won that game of Wonderland's War? Who won when they weren't even a player? George did. George had to, like, bet who he thought was going to win each of the different battles. Have a great night, ya boy Beasley. <laughs> do you plan to play Wormspan? I do plan to play it. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm getting like a pre-release review copy, but I do want to play it very, very badly because I'm a big fan of Wingspan and I do love me a good dragon game. That would be a lot of fun. And it looks great. It looks like Wingspan, but slightly more thinky, you know? A little bit heavier than your basic Wingspan. All right. So, this is our event. So this was the card that was put in after I was finished kind of meeting all of the different um, sprites and characters around Mythwind. So trust is earned. Dun dun dun. I've earned the trust of all of the creatures. Ponk, the sprite who got trapped under the wood pile, beckons your group to follow them into the forest again. Come along. Promise not to run. AKA, they're promising not to run away. When you arrive at the clearing, there is a bubbling cle cheer. Whoa. When you arrive at the clearing, they, there is a bubbling cheer as dozens of sprites welcome you in and a celebration begins. Oh, I love this. Uh, the evening is spent talking and laughing. Uh, Fix leans towards you and says, you see, these sprites have made up their minds. You're all good to us. She then points into the distance where the tower glows dimly. The tower will start showing its approval soon. <gasps> oh snap, things are happening. <sighs> okay. Shuffle in events four... No. Shuffle in events 9, 42, and 128. Okay. 9, 42, and 128. Why are there gummy worms? There's gummy worm emotes. Okay, so we're shuffling in 9, 42, and 128. Okay. And then we got to shuffle in. Oh, 
Guys, we get to open secret envelope number one. Oh, I am so excited. <gasps> Holy manoli. Shuffle adventure cards 21 to 30. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, shuffle those into my adventure deck. There's a lot of adventure cards, holy. Oh, you know what? I also need to reshuffle in this one. It says once you have completed this adventure card, shuffle it back into the adventure deck. Okay, so we have a lot of adventure cards. I feel like I need to go on more adventures. And then open secret envelope number one. Holy manoli. I'm pumped. Are you excited to play Meadow? It's an upcoming board or animal board game for this year. Eric, I have already played Meadow. Meadow actually was published in 2021. Is that when Meadow was published? I do know that there is a new meadow adventure book coming out this year i don't know if that's the one that you mean uh, but base game of meadow yeah meadow was published in 2021 there was also an expansion called meadow downstream that was recently released last year and then now this year i believe in 2024 it's um the adventure book one. It has like a red cover. It looks really cool. I will say that I am getting rid of my copy of Meadow. Your shuffling kicks ass. Am I that good at- I feel like I'm not that good at shuffling. I have been working on it. Thanks guys. <laughs> You're so nice. You're jealous of my shuffling skills? I feel like my shuffling skill isn't that great. I appreciate it though. I've been working on it. Shuffling three cards is pretty difficult though. She thinks she's not good, but I'm way worse. <laughs> okay, so I will warn everyone right now. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I am going to be opening a secret envelope. Do you guys want me to keep this secret? Do you want me to keep a secret? Because I can keep a secret if you want. Look at those shuffling gains. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm muting. Give me a hand signal when I can unmute. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I was listening to Kyle talking about it on Board Game Box Office. Oh, okay. So maybe it's new to you, which is totally cool. All games are new when it's new to you. Me? I'm jealous of the mac and cheese. Heck to the yeah. Okay, so I'm going to secretly look at these... Okay. <gasps> Cute. Well, this is exciting. I'm going to have to get out some minis. <laughs> we are spoiled just being here. You spoil us so well. Ooh, so well. Poker shuffle. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so we did get a new weather card. I don't know if I should read these things right now. Ooh, fun.
What is happening? Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gasp. Jenna doesn't turn bright red like Alex when shown <laughs> showered with compliments. Okay, so I will say that I do have some new friends joining. We got Fix. This is Fix. And we also have Book. Book. We got Book. Which I do believe that. I can use them now. So there are two cards here. So the spirits are the two spirits that are going to be added here says fix has been around town pretty much since your group settled here but her presence has really stepped up recently additionally uh book has been more present as well the villagers generally appreciate their presence and it has a positive effect on other spirits who are helping in the town as well so basically this envelope includes a new weather card um, which i'm going to shuffle in and then we're going to place fix right here which I will say that I do have the miniatures. So I'm gonna grab the miniatures so that we can actually use the miniatures and not the uh, little punch outs. Um, I do think that this is going to get put here, I believe. Might be wrong. Place fix in the spirit action space when the uh, sprite effect comes up on the weather card. Include in this envelope. Place fix in, with the next sprite. Replace fix with the next sprite in numerical order. So we're going to replace fix with book. A character can use a hired sprite to go uh, to the sprite action space during the town action step to perform the ability offered by the sprite who is there at the time. A character can use a hired sprite to go to the action space. Okay. I'm gonna have to read this a few times to fully understand. My buddy Fix cleaned up the crime scene. Uh, book has been in hiding for some time. <laughs> oh no. A character, so me, can use a hired sprite, so I can use this die, put it here, to go to the sprite action space during the town action step to reform the ability offered by the sprite who is there at the time. Okay, so if Fix is there, I can go see Fix. And I can spend one coin to hire a villager. Or if Book is there, I can spend one coin to hire a sprite. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good to know. So that's for the sprites. And this says, as Fix promised, the tower gave back to the community in an unexpected way. Later in the evening, the dim glow of the tower flashed brightly. The ground appeared to have lightning flash through it. Once the tower returned to a dim glow, it seemed to be over with one exception. Everyone felt a strong spirit of generosity. The enthusiasm to help each other build a collective home has never been higher. So, if I have more income than food, 
which I do not, shuffle in events 54 and 55 into the event deck, add tower upgrade number one to the build space, otherwise shuffle in events 56 to 57. Okay. Sorry everyone, this has been quite the intermission. What numbers do I need? 56 and 57. 56 and 57. I gotta shuffle those into the event deck. <laughs> Add tower upgrade number two. Okay, so this is, I guess, the tower upgrade. So this action space, I'm adding number two. So I can do that one there. Uh, gain a coin for each culture and food level used to construct a building. Okay, that's cool. So it's still the same action space. It's basically where you go to build, uh, but however many culture and food are used to build a certain building, I gain a coin. That's cool. All right. And I do have to shuffle in this here. I spilled some dribble on the page. Oh, book. <laughs> I do stream on Twitch also. Um, I used to, but not anymore. I unfortunately do not stream on Twitch anymore. I've decided to switch over to YouTube just because it's a lot easier. Um, it honestly is better for like in business. Um, it's better. And I just, I just get more views, more viewers, you know? Yep, got my Wonderlands War in, hoping to play it this weekend after finishing Pandemic Legacy Season 1 with Meeple Mike. Uh, evening, even possibly King's Dilemma. Oh, dang, nice. Coin it up. All right, let me, where is it? Please hold. Okay, so I do have these miniatures here, and I do want to use them because they're very cute. Just a matter of getting the box open is the only hard part. We're almost there. Okay. So we have fix and book or bouquet, boke. I don't know how to pronounce his name. So we got fix, little fix. She's very cute. I'm gonna put her here. She, she fits so perfectly there. I love it. And then this is book. He's a funny looking tree guy. Aw, thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Thanks for streaming when people are awake and having a good time. I appreciate it, Matt. Thank you so much, Matthew. I don't know if you prefer Matthew or Matt, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. And no problem. Love streaming. Okay, so. I'm finished. He's just a little guy. He is. All done, Rainwater. I think Rainwater was the only one that left because of spoilers. All right. I believe that is everything.
Oh man, I thought I was going to be able to wait until stream ended for dinner, but I'm getting so hungry. Oh no. We got three days left, George. Three days. We got a nice sunny day. A nice sunny day, everyone. I do have to maybe go quickly through these three days um, because I believe it's like almost 10. So I've been streaming for almost three hours. I will say, usually a season is a lot quicker than this, but because I have been chatting with chat, it does take a lot longer. Uh, okay. Because like, I literally just have to like, read these cards to myself, quickly do that, quickly do my, my town action, quickly do my character actions, and I move on to the next day. So it definitely doesn't take as long when you're not streaming. Uh, okay. So, this, uh, I think I'm good. I don't have any of these here. So we're moving on uh, to my action for the town. What do I want to do? I do think I want to, let me grab the inn. Like I said, I did want to possibly do the inn, but I can't build the inn unless I have the tavern. Where's the tavern? The tavern, all I need is the general store. So in order to build the tavern, I'm going to need one income, one production, and three food. So I just need one more income and one more production in order to build the tavern. If I want to start moving towards being able to build the restaurant, that's the next one that I have to build there. Welcome back, Rainwater. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I don't have anything built right now. I think I'm going to hire some workers. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to spend five coins. And I'm going to hire this sprite die and this villager die. There we go. So you can either hire one for two dollars or two for five. What a deal. <laughs> um, so that is my town action. I can take either of the alignments. So I think... In order for me to do this, I do need, I think I pretty much have everything other than the green, which I can maybe just use one of these to bring it up to here. So maybe I'm going to do orange. I'm going to restock orange. Okay. And then I'm going to gather materials. We got green, green, and red. Not great. Okay. So I guess I can discard one of these greens. And that will allow me to put this second green up. Which is fine. So I'll have two level three greens, a level two purple, and a level two red. So I'm going to be able to finish up this request here. Um, do I want to just start these ones off? I might as well add those in there. Okay. So then... Once I'm finished doing my refining, I'm going to perform my worker actions, which I'm going to put this one down to one from two, and that's going to allow me to move up this orange. Come on. Once more. Okay. I think that's the only one I want to use.
yeah i think that's gonna be for now and then we're gonna go to desk so i'm gonna bring back my character i'm gonna put back this worker and then i am going to fulfill <laughs> what's on the menu yeah george what are you having for dinner george always makes the best looking things okay so i am going to fulfill this one here so i need two three level canvas a two level leather and a two level birch so those are going to go back into the supply two green a purple and a red i'm going to finish off this one so this is a green so i'm going to gain four plus five so i'm going to gain nine um so let me just grab five and four ones one two three and four <laughs> okay and then i do get to perform this action here which is simply just getting one from the bag Ooh, nice putting that there that would have been really nice for before so i could have put this up to five but it's fine so i'll put that there all right so that's everything for that day i'm going to flip over the next weather card let's see what it is Ooh, another rainy day there's nothing that happens though there's no events or any like building things I'm gonna eat another Sour Patch Kid. Yum. Okay. Um. So I don't think I'm gonna get any of these like weather pattern bonuses or anything like that, which is fine. Okay. So, I'm going to move on to my action. So, I do have 19 coins. Do I want to excavate something, maybe? Or do I want to maybe work towards getting what I need for this? So I do need an income and I also do need one more food. So I could either go here and maybe pay 10 to get one income or I could excavate and hope I get one of them or I could go on an adventure and hope I get something. I don't know what I want to do. Let's do... Let's do an, a little excavate. I think I want to excavate, maybe. But, question is, where do we excavate? Should we do, maybe... Ooh, leftover chili. Yummy. I think I might do here. I'm going to pay five coins and I'm going to excavate here. And we're going to hope that this is either a food or an income. Boom. Oh, okay. So that allows me to put this die up by one. And I get to put this up by one as well. That's awesome. Okay. I'll take that that's pretty good okay so I think that's everything for that I'm gonna do my character actions so I get to either sell or restock something should I maybe work towards working fast 
I will say that I took the alignment of the sprite, so I can only do these three. Hmm. I'm gonna do a birch just solely because that's going to allow me to do this skill here. Left, leftover chewy. <laughs> so I'm allowed to take one out of here, add that to there, and then I'm going to gather goods. So I'm gonna take out the remaining three. I believe there's nothing left in the bag. So I do have many of goods here. Okay, so that was gather. Now we're going to refine. So I'm going to discard one of these paper in order to refine this to here. And then for this working fast, I need a single of this one. I need a single of that. Dang. So a lot of these are kind of like going to waste a little bit. That's okay. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't wanna like over refine them and then kind of waste them. Cause you can keep as many as you want in here. It's just the refinement levels can only have four in each of them. All right. So then, I am going to, I'm gonna put this one down to a one, to here, and I'm going to refine this blue one up one level. Okay, and then I am going to sell, so I'm gonna use this orange, orange, and I'm going to sell, Wait, nope, not orange. I need to use the blue, put it down one to sell a paper. I'm gonna sell this level five paper. So that's gonna go back into the supply. And that's going to get me three coins. So I'm gonna put back two, gain a five. And then I'm also going to be able to up my reputation. So this is something I have not done yet. So I can actually show you guys how to do this. So basically, each of these request cards is going to have a certain color on them and whatever level it is, so all of them are still at level one. So you have to um, hand in basically however many of that color you need to go to the next level. So if, for example, this red was at level two, I would need to hand in two completed red so I would have to have two of these in order to put it up to the next reputation level um, all of them currently like I said are at one so I only need to hand in one of a certain color um, so I do have two greens and I also have two purples and then I have one orange and one red which I will say that both orange and red, I've already upped theirs to the second level. So I do get six coins instead of five for each of those. So I think I'm gonna do the next one down. So I'm going to discard this one here, which is a green good, in order to up my reputation level for green goods. And I don't know if this is something that I can do like as many times as I want. How does it level up? So basically, underneath here, it's going to basically be a dial. Hopefully this, there you go. So basically it's a dial. Come on. There you go. And as you tick it up, the more the goods are going to be worth to you when you sell, or when you fulfill that certain thing. So I just put the green up one level. So now instead of me getting five money, 
for green goods. Whenever I complete a green good request, uh, I'm going to get six money. And then you can go up again. And it's going to get you still six money. And then again, we'll get you seven. Uh, and then eventually you can actually turn it over to the other side. Okay. So there we go. I still have some here that I can use. This one goes to the bottom of the crust deck. All right. Do I want to use this? Okay, in order for me to get working fast, I need blue. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use my orange dye. I'm gonna put it down to two, and that's going to allow me to restock a blue. So I'm gonna grab a blue, add that to my bag, and that is everything for that day. Uh, that's not me. I'm gonna bring back my worker, or my character. I'm gonna bring back the workers. I can't fulfill the order. So then, or request, sorry. So we're gonna move on to, I believe this might be the last day. It is the last day. Okay. So last day for this season. Let's see what the weather is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be sunny. Yeah. So it's sunny and this little sprite icon has come up. So this is the sprite icon that it was talking about. So basically that that means that fix gets taken out. And, oh no! Ooh. Bach, don't do that to me. Bach gets added in here. So we got this little guy added here. And we're gonna move on to the last day. Um, so it's just sunny, nothing else happens there. So we're gonna move into my action. I don't really know what I want to do. I think, I think I'm just gonna end off by doing an adventure. I feel like it might be fun to do an adventure. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Heck yes it is. Tinkerbell wants to fly away. <laughs> Can you tick the green one down for me? Absolutely not. I want it ticked up, please. Okay, so I've decided that I am going to go on an adventure. So this is a spot of le leconomacy. I, I don't know what that word is. Uh, Bess, a swamp spirit, stands by a pond, chucking rocks into it. She spots you and says, aren't the ripples beautiful? They can tell the future if you learn to read them. You spend an hour with her, unsure of what she sees. Is it worth hanging around? So A is lose your character actions this turn to spend the day at the pond. Um, or B, thank the spirit for her insights, but get back to work. Do I want to forfeit... Honestly, eh, maybe I, I kind of want to get back to work because I wanted to get this, this action here first. Actually, you know what? I think, or sorry, not action, uh, skill. I do think that now that Boke and Fix are in play, I can get some of these ones as well. But these ones are pretty difficult to get. They're like pretty difficult skills to gain stay at the pond i'm tempted i'm tempted because like honestly there's not really much more i really need to work towards when it comes to my goods 
So I could just forfeit. I'm not anywhere close to getting this request here. So like, why not? Why not just hang out? And maybe I might get something good. What do you guys think? I think I might stay. It might be fun. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try A. A, okay. As the sun sinks to the horizon, you finally see something in the ripples. Uh, in a moment of clarity, you see a vision of the future. <gasps> Look at the top two weather cards. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Look at the top two weather cards. Put them back on the weather deck in any order. <laughs> That's the worst thing. <laughs> There's no more weather cards. Oh, no. So if I chose the other one, it would have been on the way home. You realize you may have had a few insights at the pond after all. Oh, dang. Perform a skill that you have not acquired yet. Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> I'll stay with you. I brought my swimsuit. <laughs> All right, well, that's unfortunate. I, I guess I could have, like, these were the only two, so I could have just performed one of those. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We didn't, we didn't need it anyways. All right. So, that means that I am going to be skipping my character actions. And I do, I can do my, uh, these actions. So, is there any possible way for me to get this one? No, because I still need a purple. And this blue still needs to go to level three. So I could do that. I'm going to use this. And this blue can go to level three. Um, I don't know if I have any purples left in here. I don't know if you're really supposed to look to see what you have, but I don't have any purples. So maybe I tick this worker down and I go here and I grab myself a purple out of the supply and add it here. Might as well get myself prepped. All right. And then I return my character. I return my workers. This one gets re-rolled. Blank. Two. Okay. All right. So that is everything for one season of Mythwind. Um, so I do want to show you guys kind of how to put it all together again. So I'm going to grab all of these cards. These ones, as well as this, are now out of the game. Put them in the middle here. Okay, so basically what I do is I just take off this. I'm going to add my monies into here. Whatever I have left in my bag, I'm also going to put into here. Is that it? Yep. Uh, I'm going to... Oopsie. I'm going to put these two skills back in here that I did not gain yet. Like that. Uh, I will... I think actually these ones here... Do they actually get lost? I need to figure out where those go. The myth was successfully winded. Heck yes, it was. Um. Let me quickly check for. Um. Saving the game. So my crafter miniature goes back in the box.
yeah, I do think that the ones that I have in my inventory here, I do believe they get lost possibly, or I can maybe like add them here. So I remember that these are the ones that I had in my inventory. I guess I could just put them like that. Um, you can take these off and then you just put them flat like that so that they stay. And then I have my two dice here. Um, all of the, these are my finished request cards. All of these are unfinished request cards. So they go back here and then I'm just gonna put these ones face up so that I know that those are my face up and finished request cards. And then I'll put my little crafter thing on there, place this on top and then this goes on top. So that's my character tray. We have buildings. All right. And then like I said, I'm going to take my last my last little shop house game. Bring this over here. Put these in here. So these are the in play dice. Okay. And we have all of my weather cards. I'm gonna give those a shuffle. Put those there. I will say that I did successfully get this uh, goal here, which is each character must go on at least one adventure. So if I did successfully do this, what? No way! Awesome! So if I successfully did this goal, I get a skill for free. Good to know. I'm gonna put that there. So I did gain a skill for free. And I believe this is all done, so I'm just gonna take these boards. Go one. Two. And three. Put them back in here. Put this back on. Let's see. I did get some gross stuff on there. So whenever I have like just random stuff, I kind of just put them in the center here. So I have like this additional tile there and these cards. I also have the weather tile. I'm just gonna put that there. So then, put this here. The other three characters, which we have the ranger. So these are ones that I could at any time just switch to. We have the merchant, we have the farmer, and then we have me, which I am the ranger. Which I'm just going to, I'm gonna slip this card in so I remember. The next time that I play it, I get a skill for free. And then put that in there. We have the map, my bag, and the box. Ta da! And it's all packed up. Done. All packed up, everyone. Look at that. Beautiful. 
So that is everything for today's stream. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. It is now almost 10.30. Oh boy. And my friends are coming over tomorrow at 11 a.m. to start BoatCon. Um, I still tonight need to quickly tidy up my guest bedroom because one of my friends is staying over for the weekend. Um, so I need to tidy up the guest bedroom. I need to shower. I need to possibly relearn a few games. I also need to edit a video, which that video shouldn't take too, too long to finish. So that should be fine. I should be able to finish that tonight. So yeah, got lots of stuff to do before my friends come over tomorrow. Thanks for the stream. It was fun seeing how Mythwin played. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to show you guys. I will most likely be playing this more on stream. Um, maybe after I'm finished my season with the crafter um, or my year with the crafter, I might switch over to another character. And then if you guys want to see different characters, let me know. Uh, let me know if you want to see how like the innkeeper plays or the merchant or the farmer or the ranger. I think that's all five of them. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get all my stuff done that I need to get done before my friends come over tomorrow. Appreciate you guys all so, so much for hanging out with me today. Um, again, huge thank you, Open Owl Studios, for sending over this copy of Mythwind to me. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, Mythwind was definitely a game that I saw on Kickstarter when I first got in, really got into the hobby. And it was just a little bit too early in the hobby for me to, like, be backing Kickstarters. Um, and I honestly, like, didn't even know what Kickstarters were. So, uh, yeah, I was a little bit too late to the party myth with Mythwind, but very, very thankful that I was able to get this copy and experience it because Mythwind has been a light in my life for the last week. It's been really, really nice. So, um, yes, obviously, um, or why did I say obviously? Um, also, that's what I meant to say. Also, Davis, hello. Welcome to the stream. You are a little bit late, but that's totally fine. Thanks, Jenna. Nice to hang out with you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hashtag team no sleep. Heck to the yes. Heck to the yes. Anyways, appreciate you guys so much. Um, have a good rest of your night. And I will see you not this weekend. I will not be streaming this weekend. This was pretty much in place of me streaming on Sunday. So I will not be streaming Sunday, unfortunately, um, but I will be vlogging this entire weekend. Um, we are calling it BoatCon, and hopefully we'll get a lot of games played, and I'll put a little vlog together for you guys to watch. Um, that'll be up next week, so yeah, I'm very excited to play lots of games all weekend long with some awesome friends, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week for some more videos. And then next weekend for a live stream. Have a good night, friends. See you later. I don't know why I'm waving at the microphone. This is you, apparently. You got hair. You got hair on your, your head. What are you doing? Anyways, I'm delusional. Okay, bye, friends. Appreciate you all. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you.